Guys, it's Pete, your totally obsessed tennis coach. Now, if you enjoyed today's video with this TennisCon All-Star, make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to show you how can, you can get your hands on TennisCon 7, 100% free. So enjoy today's lesson and stick around to the end of the video. What's up guys welcome back to another 10 fit minute video and this will be a special video and special episode because uh, I'm making this video because my good friend Peter from crunch time coaching kindly asked me to make a video on breaking bad meaning breaking bad habits in tennis uh, for his uh, tennis con 3 and uh, there's gonna be a lot of good coaches and instructors sharing all of their uh, ideas and thoughts and knowledge experiences giving some tips and advice on this topic and this will be my part so breaking bad as you can see at the moment i'm here at zhuhai 250 atp event in china and it's really amazing behind me there's lucas puil uh, training with another hitter actually i'm an official hitter here as well and i was supposed to hit with him but in the last moment they they put me on court uh, with a Roher, great doubles player, and I had to go there quickly and step on the court, play with him, and I'm still completely wet uh, from that. And before that, I was doing some training in the gym, and before that, I was training with uh, Damir Jumpur, so it was a very busy day, but I loved it. There is no better place and moment to talk about Breaking Bad, you know, other than being at this tournament and being so close to the professional players and learning so much from them and I always do my warm-ups and stretching you know in the, in the gym in the official gym here at this uh, tennis venue and I'm always surrounded by the top ATP players and I can always watch and see and also learn from them so it's a great uh, moment to share these thoughts so what I want to talk about today is uh, breaking bad habits mostly on this club level players because on the, the highest level you know the, the pros uh, they probably have all these routines and rituals you know before the training before the matches and after which means before the matches you gotta do you know all those exercises and you know the full warm-up so you can be prepared you can prevent injuries and uh, definitely after the training or match you gotta do a full stretching maybe starting with some easy jogging or you know riding the bike very easy to you know relax and then do the stretching at least 15 minutes and this is what i'm going to talk about today so i'm going to break it down to two bad habits the number one will be obviously you know not warming up for the match or for the training so many of the club level players you know just maybe they're in a rush or like coming from work or whatever they just come straight to the court maybe do some kind of you know hip sting a couple of arm circles some like squats and then you know they're ready to go which is absolutely not enough you gotta do a proper warm-up that includes i would say at least six to eight minutes easy running you know jogging and then some dynamic stretching exercises and uh, definitely making sure that all the muscles all the joints are well prepared you know warmed up you can use the elastic bands and um, maybe some medicine balls this is already more advanced level but i see all these players they use the medicine ball as the way to warm up they have a coach throwing the medicine ball back to them and they use different kind of rubber bands uh, elastic bands to warm up all the shoulders all the, the joints the elbows and then I even saw Andy Murray using the, some kind of elastic rope attached to his hips while his coaches were you know, standing on the ropes on the side and he was jumping up. That's maybe related to his specific situation with the hip. But uh, anyways, definitely make sure to break this bad habit of not warming up. And I can tell you here, every single player, I mean, they really, really take it so seriously. Obviously, this is you know, their job. That's what they do daily. But they take at least 30 40 minutes to prepare before they go on the court so for some club level player i would recommend maybe taking at least at least 10 minutes you can take 10 minutes of your time to do this basic warm-up as i mentioned easy jogging do it six minutes 
and then with this couple of minutes do some dynamic stretching. I will demonstrate a couple of these exercises in this video. Bad habit number two, second bad habit that you want to break will be after, after the training, after the match, don't just you know get in a car, go home, open a beer, whatever, sit and watch some TV show, make sure to do the proper jogging, you know, it's kind of similar like as in the warm-up you need to jog to warm up, but at, at the end of the match or training you have to relax the body, the muscles, so you can do easy jogging or you can do it relaxed riding on a bike so that's very important and then after that definitely you're gonna do the stretches and I will demonstrate in this video a couple of core and basic stretching exercises that I do every single time after the train or back
exercises for stretching or just uh, you know in a standing position if you can have a mat and do it in the gym there are a couple more exercises you can do on the ground but these are the core and essential exercises that kind of cover most of the big uh, muscle groups and if you do them every single time you're gonna have much less chances of getting injured so you're gonna prevent your injuries you just gotta keep doing it so i hope that was helpful guys and that you enjoyed it and learned something and that you're gonna definitely take something from it and obviously i hope you're gonna break those two bad habits one of which is you know make sure you warm up before the match of training and uh, habit number two break it make sure to stretch you know and do that easy jogging after the training and definitely check out peter's channel he has an amazing youtube channel from crunch time coaching and uh, make sure you watch this amazing tennis con 3 and old videos and you know assign for it watch it and you're gonna learn so much thanks guys see you next video hi guys just want to jump in real quickly here at the end thank you so much for watching our videos and for all of your engagement it really means so much to us and I just want to say if you if you really enjoy consuming our content and if you support everything we do and you maybe want to kind of uh, contribute to our 10 Fitman team you're very welcome to visit our patreon page and i will put the, the link somewhere here and i will also put it down below in the description over there you will see that we have many many cool projects and ideas in our minds and we are really looking forward to it and then with having you as our wings we will be able to get there much faster and actually make all this journey closer to you and share all these amazing moments with you so Please go there and check out their page. Once again, thank you so much for watching us and for following. And I'll see you very soon in our next video. Is that not a great lesson? Now I have 40 more amazing lessons like that with the best coaches on the planet. These are master classes you're not going to find anywhere else on the internet. The event is called Tennis Con 7. You can get free 48 hour access to the event right now. I usually only open this up once a year in October, but since you're watching this video, you can get your hands on it right now by clicking in the card section or the description box below. So I've got a preview for you actually. If you don't know what TennisCon is, it'll give you a better idea and it all looks awesome to you. Make sure you sign up for free.